Hello, welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Something a little bit different. Today, we've actually got Model Collect. We'll talk about that in a moment. 172nd scale, first of war German E75, which I know what you're thinking. You've all seen this type of things, and you're thinking, where do they come from? This is where they are. Okay, so down in the box, as you can see, nice little bit of box art on there. What we're talking about is this sort of sci-fi, what if, walking tank things. We see them a lot at shows. I know if you're like me, you're thinking, where'd you get those kits? I've never even seen them. It's not through the normal companies. Model Collect, you're all gonna know about this very, very soon. They're actually releasing a range or have released a range of kits and they're very nice. And to be honest, I'm quite excited about them because we've got the B2 Spirit, 172nd scale, testers was your only option and that was horrible okay and then we've actually got a new fleet of b52s coming along and hopefully a b1 which will be absolutely fantastic in 172nd scale from them as well they're all due out pretty imminently from the b2 and the b52 series we might have to wait a little bit longer for the, the b1 but we are hoping that's going to be out very very soon then they'll become mainstream and everybody will hear about them but for the moment if you're looking for this type of sort of armor things like that this is where you want to be looking okay so as you can see down on the box it's quite a small box uh being 172nd scale all right so it's got a pair of twin sort of flat guns uh on the front up here and then looking around on the box you can see about it so that's where we're going you're basically going to have a look if you want it's a chinese company uh modelcollect.com pop along to their website and to be honest i'm having a look at it right now it's on my other screen uh it's got some great stuff in there so down in here you've got your actual kit number which we're looking for which is ua72115 a little usual bits of blurb on the back just like that so in the box again it's not massive so we're not going to mess around too much in here we've got a couple of screws as you'd expect we've got some decals we've got some instructions which actually quite look quite nice as well so we we'll start off down in the instructions as always very nice we've got the 3d drawing showing uh, the different angles of it down in there like that we've got a little bit of production history and things like that again nice little touch with this one being a sort of what if and then down into your construction usual thing starting off with the turret so we've got the actual guns going in the top in there it's not going to be a mass build it's not going to take you a long time to put this together but this is what it's about you can add stuff which is great okay then we've got the actual top of the hull Obviously, it's very sort of, you know, Tiger Panther-esque, looking at the back of it, the way it's going down together and everything in. We've got towing cables, everything as you'd build a normal tank, so to speak. Uh, we've got some crew positions down in there, some hatches, things like that going to go in. And then we've actually got another type of turret, looks like, down in here being fitted in underneath as said so you've got a top turret and you've got like a lower ball turret on this one as well if you didn't see it in the pictures again very nice touch with this one okay so you're actually working on the lower turret down underneath here so obviously putting in the ball turret down into the bottom then we've got the engines going on the back again very panther tiger-esque as you can see down in there and then those being fitted and then we're working away in the legs they are mechanical they are articulated you will be able to move them into certain positions as well so if you're thinking dioramas things like that you'll be good to go quite complicated the way they go together but they're going to be nice and strong and again positionable which is the nice touch with it so those will be down fitted into there onto the actual lower hull system with that ball turret down in there then you've got the top part going on and then the actual gun system in on the top okay so again nothing too you know advanced and too difficult but actually shows it very very nicely a couple of good color schemes as well so we've got the sort of splinter s dazzle camo effect down on here as well or you can go with that more traditional sort of tank effect with the legs done in a normal metal color as well just down in like that color call out so these are done by mig as usual so there we go that's them again it's not going to be a mass problem building this one but it'll be something a little bit different decals we've got a little sheet down in here as you can see you know they don't look too bad we've all just popped them out of here get them out there we go so let me just pop them out and have a look you can see they're quite thin there's a little bit of carrier film around there i wouldn't say they're probably the best decals in the world but uh, they're definitely going to be adequate for on armor i would have thought just down there all right so we got that one right so where should we start? Let's have a look at the bit that looks like a tank first and we'll work our way around. Okay, so we do have in through here. So 
there we go. Not looking too bad, actually. It, it is that thing, you're looking at it, and you're looking at a tank, it's just a little bit odd, obviously, this section here. So, a little bit closer, as you can see, we've got the upper hole. You have got a little bit of uh, detail down in here. Not a great deal, to be honest, but it is 70 second right the way through. The underside, we've got the usual escape hatches and things like that you might expect. And then obviously we've got the, the positioning for the actual legs themselves. Down the back end, anybody who's ever known a tiger or a panther will spot this immediately, uh, or Star Wars. <laughs> uh, so we've got the actual exhaust area is going to be coming on the back. We've got the radiators and the coolers and everything on the top. And then looking over here, so we've got the smaller parts. So we've got some of the light systems, some part of the engines, this lower hatch system, which is going to go over on here, down in there, the exhaust and some other bits and pieces just like that. Again, no real heavy flash. There's a little bit of flash on it, just some parts kicking around down in here, things like that but nothing that a couple of swipes of a sanding stick isn't going to take care of, just like that. It is that Hasegawa hard plastic as well, which is quite nice. Okay, so over onto this one, we've got another engine back, depending on which one obviously you're going to be doing. Okay, we've got the side skirts, which look very reminiscent to uh, a panther or a king tiger. Uh, down in there, just like that. We've got the, stir the cables, some of the other areas, different plates and things. So it looks like it may be a little bit modular on this one. But again, all the small parts, right the way down to just down in here, we've actually got a spade, pry bar, and some wire cutters in there as well. So that's very nice indeed. Okay, so... On the top, so we've got the... This is that bottom turret, okay, and the collar for it as well. And then coming on, we've got a little bit of flash on these parts and the ball system for this actual turret. But the gun itself looks quite nice, nicely detailed. Again, it's got a little bit of flash running around this one. It's going to need a little bit of cleanup compared to the others. You can see we've got a little bit down on there, but nothing too bad at all. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, okay. Top turret, so again, we obviously got this bigger turret down here on the top. We've got some hatches, some access points, things like that down in there. We've got some of the leg areas, I presume. Sorry, that is that the leg? No, that's the actual gun point as well, down at the top. Top of the guns, things like that being fitted down in. Again, something a little bit odd when you're looking at something and you're trying to work out where it is, but it's so based on a tank, it's quite straightforward. Okay, guns themselves, again, slightly hollowed out on the end, which is a nice touch. But generally, as you can see, we've actually got the, the various in, things in there. The actual barrels themselves. Okay, all looking very nice. Okay, so, last bag. We have... A match pair for legs? It is. So we've got a match pair for legs. So this is just all your leg works like that. So we've got this larger area just down on here and all these small parts and the components that are going to make up. Again, some nice heavy duty sort of riveting areas and bolt areas, things like that. Access panels right the way over for it. We have got some obviously some wheel areas as well down on here and some foots for the actual feet, a tread tract. And again, very nice, very armor-esque. So we've actually got tread like armor plates would have on tracks and the other parts running right the way through. So again, very very, very nice touch with this one. Yeah, there is the old ejector pin round and things like that, but actually they're all quite flush as well, which is a nice touch with these. So nothing that's going to give you any hindrance. And again, the sprue location points are a little bit wide, but to be honest, they're not going right the way through the part. So it's going to be easy clean up with those as well. It should be quite straightforward to do this one. So there we go. It's one of those things. I didn't know about these kits particularly. You see them all at the shows, like we said before, but having seen one now, I'd love to give one a go because they look so it'd be a lot of fun. And again, it's that thing of doing dioramas, weathering with them and things like that that actually will make these things pop and make something a little bit different from your normal armor that you'll see from day to day at model shows, things like that. So there we go. That is the Model Collect 172nd First of War German E75.